Our previous two episodes of Market Journal have looked ahead at the calving season for Nebraska's farmers and ranchers. This week, Nebraska Extension Forage Specialist Bruce Anderson outlines precautions and sanitary conditions producers can be thinking about. He also explains why watering cattle a different way might be beneficial to an animal's health and performance. But to start, we asked Bruce to update us on the general condition of the state's pasture and ranges as we move into the last week of January. Well, I think we're in pretty good shape this year. You know, we haven't had a whole lot of snow out there, and so it's been an open season for uh, the grasslands that are being grazed or the corn residues that, that are being grazed. So a lot of the producers have had some very good access to it. Plus, we went into winter in, in pretty decent shape moisture-wise. So I think uh, all in all, uh, I'm optimistic that we're going to get through the winter in good shape and start out next spring uh, with uh, some good early growth. We touched on this about a year ago in a piece you did for radio, but we wanted to talk about it again this week, and that's using tank water instead of pond or creek water. Why is that something that producers might want to consider during the grazing season? Well, I think when we start looking at what the conditions are like uh, in many of our ponds or our creeks and uh, the kind of sanitation that might be existing out there, uh, we know that uh, uh, while that water starts out good and clean, as the herd of animals wanders into it to get a drink, they start stirring up mud uh, and, and they start making deposits out there that uh, none of us would want to drink. And, and then the calves get in there and they start drinking that water and, and kind of get into some sanitation problems. If we do put our water into uh, some form of tank that can keep it good and clean, uh, the calves are always going to get some decent clean water, uh, be able to uh, avoid some of the light disturbances they may have in their digestive system from the pathogens that they get from the, the dirty material. And as a result, we see that uh, uh, calves oftentimes may wean 20, 25, 30 pounds more weight by having that clean tank water than uh, always having to go into some dirty uh, more contaminated conditions to get their water. Now the problem or at least one of the concerns would be this is something that would be time intensive, it can cost some money, what's the justification to it? Well I think the justification comes to that, that added income, at least that gross income that's going to come from the uh, larger calves also might reduce some of the health problems that we have and uh, reduce some of the doctoring that has to go out uh, uh, with the herd there. Uh, but of course everybody has to take a look at what their system might be, how they might be able to do it most efficiently, place the tanks where they do it would be most effective, and, and then find ways to keep the animals out of the creeks and ponds so that they don't choose to go in there anyhow even if they're there's a tank nearby. What uh, things could be maybe on the radar as we start to look at calving again and, and thinking about sanitation conditions during that time period? Well, certainly as we get to this time of year, uh, uh, there's probably a couple things we need to be looking at. One is, of course, making sure that we're doing an adequate job of supplementing uh, our cows so that not only do the cows stay good and healthy and are able to calve uh, in good shape and then uh, eventually start rebreeding, but also that we're supplementing them effectively so that uh, the fetus is growing properly and then the calf will uh, survive, grow well, and perform the way we want it to as it, as it gets older. Uh, the other thing is simply the calving environment that we have out there. Uh, there's been a calving system called the Sand Hills Calving System that has been developed. That's really a, a method of trying to keep uh, uh, the environment very clean and safe for the calves by moving animals around, uh, moving the unbred, or excuse me, not the unbred, but the cows that have not calved yet into a fresh area that's going to be clean and healthy for new calves, and avoiding the mingling of older calves with young calves, which tends to spread the pathogens, the bacteria and the viruses that cause scours very readily. Keeping them separate gives us much less uh, health problems for those young baby calves. <music>